Hey, how are you guys doing? Today is my birthday. I am 24 years old. So today, Chloe is going to surprise me to a bunch of places where um, I, I have no idea where we're going. So it's going to be good. Uh, so I'm just going to film today and basically show you guys how my day goes. I'm really excited. Just left now. Um, we're just about to get in the car. Chloe's going to get the sat nav set up. Cause, but she's got to do it in quite some secrecy to not give it away where we're going. Turn right onto Terrace Road. Okay, so we've just got the um, sat nav set up. Uh, I had to sit in the car faced away from the sat nav being set up, so I didn't know where we're going. I have no clue. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. You probably know when we get near, but. I'm not telling you, but you'll going to uh, a shop in or a workshop in Kent um, near Swanley called um, Wested Leather um, and Wested Leather were basically f made famous for making a certain leather jacket for a certain character um, in a favorite one of my favorite film series Indiana Jones So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go inside. Um, and Chloe said she's gonna treat me to something. So I've got plenty of choice of things that I might wanna get. So yeah, thank you, Chloe. No worries. <laughs> My bank doesn't say thank you, but it's all right. Words can't describe the smell that is coming out from this shop. Leather. So this is the inside of Wested Leather. Um, it's a great store. Um, you can get pretty much any kind of jacket. We'd be a motorbike racer. So Peter Botwright, the former owner of Wested Leather, was the guy who created the one and only world famous Indiana Jones leather jacket. You know, if it wasn't for um, some fantastic costume works from uh, Deborah Noodleman, we wouldn't see this great character put together with an awesome jacket. I own two of these jackets and they're perfect and they last a lifetime. So thank you Wested Leather for being so cool on my birthday. <laughs> so for my birthday, Chloe gave me the choice of pretty much anything in the store. So I went for these Wested Indie Boots. So, an interesting story, when Peter was alive, I went into the store with a pair of indie boots, uh, which are Alden boots, and he was really interested in seeing them in the flesh. Obviously, this was at the point when he hadn't actually developed the ones which I'm trying on right now. So, he wanted to look at the soles and pretty much all the details within the actual boot to copy on these. And I can personally say that he's done an amazing job and he's left an amazing legacy behind. Thank you. Mm, happy birthday. <laughs> My birthday's been made. So, um, just shut that. We've just finished up at Wested Leather um, and I really enjoyed it. It was nice to actually go back there. Peter Botwright's family have basically taken over the business and it's more successful than ever, really. So, they know, should be very proud of themselves. They've done They've carried on the sort of spirit of the company and uh, both the husband and wife and even the mum in the background <laughs> um, were really, really nice and really accommodating. So yeah, they've really made your birthday actually. Yeah, they really did. They, they let you round the, um, the sort of 
workshop, didn't they? Yeah, so the I, I cheekily asked, could I take some <laughs> shots um, of their, their workshop just around the back of the, um, the main shop? Um, so it was really cool to get kind of a, a little more of an in-depth look of how the jackets and leather products are put together. So yeah, it was really cool, really enjoyed it. Um, I got myself some Wested leather uh, boots. I also got a leather um, belt, which is used for the holster on Indy's costume, but more than likely I'll probably just use it as a normal belt. But when I do cosplay or costumes of Indy, then I'll wear it as a holster belt. She also threw in um, a really, really cool little um, whip keeper. I already own a whip, but no keeper. So it was really cool that she threw that in. So thank you very much, Wested. Um, thank you guys. Um, oh, my day's made. I'm really <laughs> happy. Literally really happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was a pretty cool surprise. We're off to somewhere else, which I have no idea where. What are we going? Where are we going? Are we, we're going for lunch, or are we? What? We're going for a light bite. We're going light for a light bite. bite. Yeah. So no idea where we're going. We've again. got dinner. We've got dinner later on, but it's just a light bite before dinner, much later on tonight. But it's a, it's a place that I think that you'll like. I've never been, so it's new for me too, but um, it's very suitable to you, I suppose. But, but you'll suitable like it. Suitable to me? Well, okay. yeah. You'll realise when we go in there. So, yeah. <laughs> Medway traffic. Okay, so we've just got parked up. We're in um, Rochester. Um, and where are we off to? Where are we going? So we're walking through um, the station area and all of these buildings. But me and Chloe used to live in Rochester probably, what, about two years ago? Year and a half ago? No, it must have been about two years ago. It's got to be. It was our first place, so Rochester does hold a little nice place in the heart. Yeah, so we lived here about two years ago, and all of these buildings here were not there at all. It was farmland. Yeah. So this is basically all brand new, everything here, which is crazy. It's really crazy. So I remember this part. So this is the entrance to the train station here. In fact, I think this might have been blocked off at one point. But all of this here was all farmland, all fields. So it's crazy to think that it's all been built over. So where I'm standing right now is Rochester Station. And a few years ago, Chloe went to work. She had to go to work. Oh, you're never gonna let me forget this. She had to go to work and catch the train. But it was right about here that she lost her engagement ring once by accident, purely by accident I think she was in a rush in the mornings and she dropped it on the floor and this is like a tiny little emerald ring yeah. and I quickly rushed to the station to see if the staff would know if it was there or anything nope, they had no clue I came out of there and it was on the floor directly where that second lamppost is here on the floor She's still got it. So yeah, it was very lucky. I, I literally saw this like glistening emerald um, on the floor. So yeah, that was very lucky, wasn't it? Very, very lucky. Yeah, she's got a new one. <laughs> and this is the old, old high street. What, fossils? It's not that old. I mean, yeah, it's not prehistoric times. This is Rochester. This is the High Street. Um, this is historically known uh, as kind of the birthplace of the ideas for Charles Dickens. So all those old books that you read in the Victorian times, they were based here. So what did you go for? 
the Racliette. But I think I'm saying it wrong. Racliette? It's Racliette. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Racliette. I went for the New York Deli. New York Deli, pastrami, and pickles. And sauerkraut. I love a bit of sauerkraut. <laughs> that was really tasty. That restaurant there, that Thai restaurant, is one of the best Thai restaurants I've ever been to. Okay, so we're inside a antique store in Rochester, and it's not every day you come across a silver casket. This is um, Rochester Castle. This cathedral is what makes Rochester a city. Just like Canterbury, they're all cities, not towns. Even though they're very small, they're listed as cities. Down this area, we've got a lot of different pubs down the end of the high street. And this one in particular called the Jolly Knight. What, what do you call it? Richard Branson Pub, because it looks like <laughs> There you go, the Richard Branson pub. <laughs> so we're all down in Rochester now. We've uh, been up and down the high street probably more than once. Um, we really enjoyed it. I feel like I've had a good birthday so, so far. So thank you, Chloe, for treating me to all this. Um, but that's not it. We're going to a restaurant tonight, but I have no idea what restaurant. Brian Kilgrim. No idea what restaurant we're going to, so yeah, it's going to be good. So um, we're going to head home, get changed probably relax for a little bit and then uh, you'll see us at the mill. Just about to leave now to go to the restaurant. Chloe is looking stunning. So I've been asked to wear um, smart clothes on this occasion for this restaurant. Out, Chloe um, is treating me to Chilston Park Hotel. So, wow, <laughs> that that was a shock. I even said to her, um, I didn't realise I was that posh. <laughs> so yeah. Proper class now, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm all uh, dressed up, I suppose, for the occasion, which is good. And um, we're just driving down a country road now. Hey cows. Cows!
And there it is. Chilston Park Hotel. I'm so excited to go in here. It's very grand in here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yum. Oh look, she's already started on it before I can video it. <laughs> so we just came uh, out of the mill. It was amazing. <laughs> I was going to say something about the fries, but I won't. <laughs> no, but it is, it is honestly so worth it. And uh, the staff was so intensive. Like, just everything they were just on it chloe was planning all this for my birthday she uh, went on was it the website the website she went on the website and um requested for some kind of birthday surprise something like a cake or th something that'll make it a little bit more special but this place um chloe um, left the table to cheekly go ask cheekily <laughs> ask a staff member i went to him but he knew what i was going to say before i even said it that was really nice, so it's totally worth paying that money just for that service. It was level of service was outstanding. Yeah, the um, the quality of the food well. was really good. So if you you go out to Blue Water, you're paying probably same prices if not more. You're coming to a stately home like this, and it's in the middle of nowhere. As I say, gorgeous surroundings, and you're getting it cheaper. It's just yeah. like why people don't do this more. I don't know. So, um, yeah, we might be staying here for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Get your money bags ready, darling. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's it from my birthday vlog. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys. No more surprises. My bag can't <laughs> take it anymore. No. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe the uh, YouTube channel, and um, we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.